Rated M for Mature. Dread Prophecies is really the thing we've all been waiting for. This is a much larger update than Secrets of Ionot. It's got something for everybody. When you take to the seas, your ship really becomes your character. Now ships have equipment slots. So picking and choosing which pieces you customize your ship with changes the role of that ship in combat or in trade runs. The event that takes place in the Sea of Graves is called the Abyssal Attack. It's in a giant whirlpool around this holy shrine, and what happens is this Kraken is summoned and it's trying to take out this statue. You end up completing the objective, you're rewarded very handsomely. So it should be a lot of fighting for a lot of money and a lot of death. So there's actually two types of ghost ships. Both of them roam the ocean, and when you take them down, they drop incredibly valuable materials. When you pick it up, a system message occurs so everybody knows that you have it, and then the race begins to get to Friedrich Island or an ocean trader so you can turn it in. One of the best changes I think that's being made is to Friedrich Island. We removed the housing from that area, so say an opposing guild has a huge trade run going on. You actually have to sail there instead of just porting through a house and getting into the action. Um, so there's a lot more strategy when it comes to planning. Uh, because when you die, you don't respawn on the island anymore. You respawn far away from it. Resurrection becomes more important. It puts a lot of focus on being good at PvP instead of just having numbers. Miss Marrow is just north of Sun Gold Fields on Aurora, so there's going to be a new zone. It's very similar to Halcyona, but it's a different type of battleground. It was basically a big game of Capture the Hill, not the three sides. There's a new zone that has been added to the west of Diamond Shores. It has a new housing area, it has new PvE content that basically continues the story of the Crimson Watch and the backstory to the Ionod Library. Dread Prophecies gives you extravagant reasons for being on the ocean. Before you had a couple ships and a couple types of gear that were viable. Now you have dozens and dozens of options for your ships, and you can do all these different builds you couldn't do before, all the new equipment. In the past, people have kind of shied away from the sea. It's a goal of Dread Prophecies to get them back in the water, because it's one of the things that makes Archage unique. It's going to give them more things to do, more reasons to fight each other, and bring their armies and bring their friends. And this is going to change everything out there.